What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, we're checking out the latest release from the absolute beauties in Eskimo Callboy. Now, I'm super excited to check this out. But I'm also excited because we're once again doing something special. And right now while I'm filming, we're actually live on Twitch. There's over 250 people in the chat right now watching me completely mess up this intro. I think this is take seven at this point, but we're going to get it at some point. And we're going to have some fun. Now, this video has only been out for about 24 hours at this point, I think. And already, I'm pretty sure this is Eskimo Callboy's biggest music video release so far. The last time I looked a couple hours ago, they had already had over 750,000 views on this video. It's trending on YouTube. It's blowing up on streaming platforms. This is awesome, man, and I can't wait to check it out. Now, before I sat down to do this today, I actually watched the Pump It vlogs with my wife, Claire. And while we were watching them, she's like... I want to watch this. So I left the room and she already watched this music video and I told her to tell me nothing about it. And when she came back, she tried to keep a straight face and she didn't say much, but she's like, there might be some references in this that I think you might get. So now I'm really curious to see what we're going to get. But let's just jump in, man. We're not going to waste any more time. We're not going to mess up anymore for the people watching on Twitch. I will link this original video in the description below. And today, I'm once again listening to Eskimo Callboy, and for the very first time, checking out the brand new music video for their song, Pump It. Let's go! You are the God. Oh my God. All right, before we keep going, holy sh dude, these guys are so good at just doing everything that is catchy, man. I mean, just that intro alone, like, Oh, when that driving riff came in, that kind of reminded me just from my frame of reference. It sounded like, you know, you're, you're German industrial metal, but like, I was really thinking like Eisbrecher. Like, I haven't heard them in a while, but that's what it reminded me of. This is going to be fantastic, man. Full costumes, full get up. Let's go. I was wondering coming into this song, considering the Eskimo Cowboy always does a lot of double meanings with their stuff, I was wondering, is this song gonna be a gym song? Or is this song about fing? I think it's both. I think it could be used for both, man. The other thing too going into this is, I know it's an American thing, but all I could think of when I saw that it was called Pump It was the SNL skit of Hans and Franz. And before we filmed this, cause we're on Twitch, I showed that skit to everybody that's watching and like nobody knew what it was except for the Americans, but no, I'll, maybe I'll share it with you guys in here too. Once again, I am Hans. Yeah, I am Franz and we are here to pop. You are. So far I've only seen two pieces of actual gear and it's drums and bass, but maybe we'll break into some of that. Dude, I love the stand up drum kit and it's funny because that's kind of becoming a popular thing in the club like scene right now. A lot of DJs when they perform 
have a percussionist with them that actually plays a stand-up drum kit like that where they just stand and they have like a remote hi-hat and like a remote kick and just kind of play backbeats to whatever the DJ is playing. I actually have a friend that does that that's very successful at it. Um, but I love that, man. I think that's such a good touch. And I feel like every video we see by Eskimo Callboy, like David is doing something different. He's either standing on his throne or standing up or like, this is fantastic. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, we're talking about that. Oh, that drop is huge. That had to have been Patrick, the Rift dude. All right, before we go into what I'm assuming is just going to be a ridiculous breakdown, this is f***ing fantastic. The thing I love about what we've seen with Eskimo Cowboy since Hypa Hypa, and let's, let's be real here, since Sebastian left and Nico came in, you see a change in the overall vibe and the chemistry. And we talked about that in a recent interview that I just did with Nico and Kevin from Eskimo Cowboy. Lineup changes aren't necessarily a bad thing. Sushi has gone on to do amazing work with his Ghost Kid project. And now that Nico's in the band, it does feel like things are clicking with these guys. They're doing different stuff. And they're also very unique and standing out. Right now, we have so many metalcore bands all over the place. But these guys are fantastic at standing out and making themselves unique. And on top of that, their music is fun, man. We've talked so many times on this channel about how people can relate to music, like emotionally and stuff like that. Sometimes you don't need that stuff. Sometimes all you want to do is have a headbanging song that's also fun as shit, And that's what we're getting with these videos, man. As for the video itself, dude, there's so much that went into this. I mean, first of all, all the choreographed moves, which we're getting used to seeing from them. They have so much choreography going on. Um, the extras that they have in here. The, just the little things, man, like, okay, the guitar, the guitar that they're playing that's made out of a weight, like, I don't think that's a real weight, I think it, like, dude, if that was 55 pounds and they're holding that and trying to play it, that's fucking impressive, but let's break down that guitar really quick, I know some of you are probably like, it's just, it's just a video, it's not real, but let's talk about, let's pretend it was real for a second. That guitar would sound like shit. <laughs> like, all right, if somebody actually made that guitar for real, they obviously put a neck from a different guitar onto it, installed a bridge, installed pickups. A lot of the sound from guitars comes from the body itself. There's a reason the guitars are made out of wood because it resonates well and it sounds good. And a lot of different woods are used in the production of guitars. If that was actually a real guitar, just a solid barbell plate, absolute ass. <laughs> and then other than that, the only other real instrument I've seen is um, Daniel's bass, and it's an Ibanez. I haven't really specifically seen what model it is, but we've seen him use a lot of different ones in videos. It could be another micro like he's used in the other ones, just, you know, for fun or whatever, but <sighs> let's go, man. I have nothing else to say. This is just fucking fun. Let's go. Oh, I just got it. That fucking has to be a reference. That might be one of the references Claire was talking about. That looks like the scene from, um, fuck, what's that movie? Uh, John Travolta and Jamie Lee Curtis, where they're doing the aerobics. 
and they're like staring at each other and like humping the air and shit. Perfect. That's the movie. That reminded me of Perfect. I don't know if that was intentional or they were just doing it like because it's kind of sexual and it's funny, but that reminded me of that scene from Perfect. Yes, I have seen that movie. Don't judge me. I'll point it out when it comes up again. Right here. I love that build up. Pump it. And if you feel like your body's giving up, you gotta get the pain at your pump it harder. When if you feel like your pain is getting real, and make it yell a goal to fucking kill the bitch. To fucking kill the bitch. Holy sh! First of all, how brutal was that? Second of all, it really sounds like the breakdown of Lost in a Wave by Landmarks. That, like, immediately that's all I heard. But again, frame of reference. Not saying they ripped it off. There's only so many musical notes you can put in different sequences, but... Frame of reference, that really sounded like Landmarks. Jesus, that's filthy. Oh, holy shit. I'm going to watch that again one more time with the people on Twitch and really pay attention more. And then we'll go to the outro and talk about it. So we actually just sat here with everybody watching me film this on Twitch and watch that video again, man. And the thing I love about Eskimo Callboy's videos is that you could watch them 10 times in a row and there's still gonna be stuff that you catch every time that you didn't see on the previous watch. For example, the second time we just watched it, I realized that David was running on a treadmill when he was playing the drums. I didn't notice that the first time, I just thought he was standing there jumping around. And there's a lot of other little references and funny things that were going on that I missed while I was headbanging and stuff like that. It's just, it's fun, man. It's so over the top how much time and effort they put into these videos. And every video that's been coming out, in my opinion, is just getting better and better and better. And you always hear people talk about, oh, which one was better? Or, oh, I liked this more than the last one. Or I didn't like this as much as the last one. My opinion, that sh shouldn't matter, man. We should spend less time focusing on that and just really focus on if we liked it or not. And for me, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic, man. You know, there is one thing, though, that I want to bring up and... I kind of feel bad for the band in a sense. Recently, I talked to Nico and Kevin in an interview on my channel, and they were talking about how it's still nerve wracking to release new videos, even though the previous one was a success and people loved it. Every video they've been putting out lately since about Hypa Hypa has just been so over the top with production and choreography and costumes and stuff that they've almost set the bar so high that it's more difficult to please people. And again, that's gotta be nerve wracking, being afraid that people aren't gonna like what you put out as much as the last thing. But for me, I appreciate the time and the effort they put into this stuff, man. There's so much choreography they have to learn, all the time put into the costumes and getting other people involved. We saw the people that were in the vlogs involved in this and they had a ton of extras and you know they all work with the same people. You know, the Shillow brothers direct all their videos. Pascal's in the band. Um, they use the same makeup artist for everything, Kami Zero. And I'm sure they used a lot of the same people they use for other videos. And I love that, man. They kind of keep it the same all the time and use the same people. And it builds a good chemistry when you're working on stuff like this. But I've been sitting here babbling for a while. Just know 
I absolutely f***ing loved it, and I hope you guys did too. If this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos all the time. Subscribing is free, and it helps my channel out a ton. If you liked this video, I would greatly appreciate the like, as it also helps the channel. But if you disliked it, no big deal, man. Thank you very much for your time. You are free to click dislike if you didn't like it. Now my child is screaming in the background, and you can probably hear it. <laughs> I'm also on a ton of different social media. I have a Discord server that a lot of us hang out on all the time. I have a Twitch that I'm streaming on right now. I do live reactions, video games, base playthroughs, tech work. So if any of that interests you, I'll throw links in the description below. My handle on everything social media is at Tank the Tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.